بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ آل آف یو ول بی فائن ٹوڈے ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس آل دا کانسیپچل کوشچن آف دا چیپٹر نمبر ٹین سمپل ہارمونک موشن اینڈ ویوس فار یور کنوینئنس آئی ہیو مینشن آل دا آنسر آف کوشچن سو لیٹس پروسیڈ The first question is, if the length of simple pendulum is doubled, what will be the change in its time period? Agar simple pendulum mein hum length ko double kar dete hain, to time period pe kya fark padega? And the answer is, students you know the formula of time period of simple pendulum. T is equal to 2 pi L over G. The initial length of pendulum is L, but after making it double, it becomes 2L. So we have to put 2L instead of L and we get this equation. Now taking under root 2 as common, the equation left is 2 pi under root L over G. Where 2 pi under root L over G is equal to T, capital T, that is time period. So we put T here and The result is t bar is equal to under root 2t and the value of under root 2 you can calculate with the help of calculator it is 1.14. So the last equation shows that the time period of simple pendulum will increase by 1.14 time by making the length double. Agar hum time period ki ko dekhna chate hai ki length ki double karne se kya fark pata hai to jo ye last equation hai wo ye show kari hai. کہ آپ کا جو ٹائم پیریڈ ہے وہ 1.41 ٹائم انکریز ہوگا اگر ہم لینتھ کو کیا کر دیتے ہیں ڈبل کر دیتے ہیں The next question is A ball is dropped from a certain height onto the floor and keeps bouncing Is the motion or the ball simple harmonic? Explain اگر ہم ایک ball کو ایک height سے drop کر دیتے ہیں اور وہ bounce کرتی رہتی ہیں کیا یہ simple harmonic motion کی example ہے تو no In the case of bouncing ball When it hits the floor, then there will be no restoring force or acceleration opposite to the downward displacement. In easy words, students, जब आप एक ball को floor पे drop करते हैं किसी height से, तो वो क्या होता है? वो bounce करती है up and down. But वो एक mean position के गिर्द oscillate नहीं करती, और ना ही कोई restoring force है जो downward displacement के opposite हो. سو یہ آپ کے پاس سمپل ہرمونک موشن کی کنڈیشن کو فل فل نہیں کرتی and in second case you can say that the acceleration due to gravity remains the same while the simple harmonic motion the acceleration should vary at different point during the motion of a body acceleration جب سمپل ہرمونک موشن ہوتی ہے تو وہ کیا ہوتی ہے اس میں بار بار چینج آتا ہے vary کرتی ہے وہ mean position پہ zero ہوتی ہے اور extreme position پہ کیا ہو جاتی ہے وہ جا کے maximum ہو جاتی ہے لیکن جب ہم بال کے کیس میں دیکھیں تو ہمارے پاس کیا ہوتا ہے کہ اس کے اوپر گریوٹی کا جتنا ایفیکٹ لگ رہا ہے وہ سیم ہے وہ چینج نہیں ہو رہا that's why it is not the example of simple harmonic motion the third question is a student performed two experiments with a simple pendulum he or she used two bobs of different masses by keeping other parameters constant two experiments His or her astonishment, the time period of pendulum did not change. Why? Two students are, you know, sorry, one student has two experiments performed. Just two experiments he performed, which he has done, only what he has done is that both experiments have mass different. The rest of the other parameters are constant. So, what happened is that in both cases, there is no difference in the time period. Why is that? کیونکہ ہم نے ٹائم پیریٹ کے فارمولے میں دیکھا ہے that is 2 pi under root L over G there is no mass mass کا کوئی فیکٹر اس میں نہیں ہے مطلب ٹائم پیریٹ کا mass کے ساتھ کوئی relation نہیں ہے mass کو آپ increase کریں یا decrease کریں it will not affect the time period of simple pendulum that's why there will be no effect on time period of simple pendulum Question number four is, what type of wave do not require any material medium for their propagation? Which waves are there that do not need to propagate? And 
you have learned that these waves are electromagnetic waves because they do not require medium for their propagation for example the radio waves television waves x rays heat and light waves are some example of electromagnetic waves the last question is plane waves in the ripple tank undergo refraction when they move from deep to shallow water what change occurs in the speed of the wave plane waves jo ripple tank mein jab hum unhe produce karwate hain to plane wave hoti hai in the form of straight wave fronts lekin jab hum unme refraction karwate hain jab refraction ka phenomena hota hai wo deep se shallow water ki taraf jati hain to kya change aayega speed mein you know students the difference between deep and the shallow water as we have discussed in the topic of ripple tank in detail what is the difference between the deep and the shallow water in the deep water the particles of liquid are more as compared to in the shallow water so in the case of plane wave when the refraction take place while moving from deep to shallow water the speed of the wave is decreased speed wave ki kya ho jati hai decrease ho jati hai aisa kyun hota hai kyunki deep water mein particles zyada hain liquid ke lekin jabki shallow water mein kam hai to deep water mein wavelength bhi long hoti hai lekin jab hum shallow water ki taraf aate hain jahan pe particles kam hai to wavelength bhi kya ho jati hai short ho jati hai and we know the relationship between speed and wavelength so in the case of refraction the speed of the wave decrease due to decrease in wavelength while the frequency remains the same as given by the equation that is v is equals to f lambda it is all about the conceptual question of chapter number 10 i hope student you got it and if you have still any issue or any problem related to any conceptual question you can ask me so that i can solve your issue thank you allah hafiz and stay safe